Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Copy Hour podcast. Grab a warm drink and have a seat. Today, we're talking about our favorite Trader Joe's items. Shout out to my good friend, Victor, who requested that we do our favorite Trader Joe's items. Tristan, what are you drinking today? I'm drinking uh, hot matcha again. Uh, it's my favorite drink. What Just can like I say? every episode. Do you know what I'm drinking what today? Drinking? I actually didn't grab a warm drink. I grabbed a cold brew, a Trader Joe's instant cold brew, wow. which we will be talking what about soon. What a seamless soon. transition into our topic seamless today. Seamless transition into our topic today. So let's talk about why we like Trader Joe's. I like Trader Joe's because the food is interesting mm -hmm. and it's at a reasonable price for how interesting it is. Like, does that yeah. make sense? I... When I came to the U.S., uh, the first time I went to a Trader Joe's, I was kind of like confused because I was like, "Why? why are, where are the brands? Why is it everyone say? Why does every brand say like Trader Joe on it?" Mm -hmm. But um, then I learned what it was, and but that's like, their thing. Yeah, it's, it is their thing. <laughs> but but um, I really like it. I really like it. I like going. I like shopping there. Yeah, you've been shopping at Trader Joe's longer than me because I didn't even start shopping at Trader Joe's until I went to college. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you I've got been a few shopping years there since, since, like, yeah, like high school. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had like, I had seen like the tote bags, but I never mm -hmm. knew what it was. But yeah. thank goodness, I know. Shouts out to my good friend Alana, who also loves Trader Joe's, and she, she showed me the way. Yeah. So we like we can't as go a, back. like when we first moved to the U.S., we bought like yogurt from Trader Joe's every week, <laughs> and we bought this like orange mango juice. Uh, I, oh I've yeah, that it. orange mango juice. Yeah, or it's there's another fruit in there. I don't remember what, <laughs> but that was really good. You have we a also, lot of memories of Trader Joe's. We also drank like my first fall in the U.S. or autumn, whatever, wherever you are <laughs> around the world. Um, <laughs> we bought like the cider, the spice cider, and I only found out this year that you're supposed to drink it warm. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you're supposed to drink apple cider. <laughs> Americans, comment down below. You're supposed to drink See, apple cider warm. I, I thought like you just drink it like apple juice <laughs> yeah well because we we bought it and i started to heat it up and tristan's like what are you doing <laughs> i was like yeah. this is the proper we, way we would buy like jugs of this <laughs> apple cider and just drink it like like apple, apple juice. juice and it was like good i mean you can drink it that way i'm not saying you can't do it i'm just saying uh -huh. that the flavor profile is enhanced i mean i heat it up. i tried both ways I, I don't know i think cold Jury's is still up. as good as cold is still as good as warm i'm just saying but, That's um, a hotly contested thing. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump right into it. So we've divided our favorite Trader Joe's foods into four different categories. So first we're going to do kitchen staples, then we got snacks, then we have frozen foods, and lastly, we have dessert. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. First of all, all of these items, to our knowledge, are dairy-free. Please do not flame us in the comments if we're wrong. Please politely inform us so that we can... Do not confront us. Yes, please do not confront us, yeah. even though we are very confrontational do people. Please, yeah. yeah. We can't um, take it, our little hearts. Yeah, because I'm vegan, so I eat a plant-based diet, and Tristan is not. So we can't say everything on here is vegan. Yeah. But we're pretty sure everything on here is dairy-free. Yeah. So let's just jump right into it. All right. So number one. Okay, so the thing about Trader Joe's is that they have like seasonal foods. Mm -hmm. That's one. Of, that's one thing I really like about Trader Joe's. Like, See, I hate that about Trader Joe's <laughs> because if you like something, it's gone. That's true. Bye. That's true. It is like gone. the food. Like it's like but, it's like a breakup. But you get to like you know you get to you get more excited about the different seasons because you're like oh this Trader Joe's thing is coming up. Not when you're vegan, dude. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need to well, cling on to those staples. What you can't, I can't just walk into Trader Joe's at any given day and just know that my first pick for the kitchen staples was the spicy pumpkin mm -hmm. curry. This it is good. So delicious, but it came out in September of this year, and we've been back to Trader Joe's like for the last two weeks. We can't find it. Well, why don't you talk about what the pumpkin curry is? Okay, so it's like it comes in a jar. Yeah, and it's essentially just like. It's not like a curry powder or a curry paste. It's like like an actual it's like, like a sauce. sauce. Yeah. I think it's technically called like a simmer sauce. Yeah. So you, I mean, the, it's in the name. You literally just mm -hmm. like put veg in it and you stir fry it. Don't expect to be making like a nice like saucy curry with, with no this sauce. no. Like it's, it's more to like cook like vegetables yeah, it's or more meat to or season beans. meats and yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's not gonna be like a soupy curry. It's yeah. gonna be like you're just using it to cook but, food in. But it's amazing. But still, we we did it with. Uh, 
We did it with uh, chickpea. We did it with mushroom. We did it with potato. We did it with broccoli. So good. It just makes everything taste really good. It's got a great, like, sweet, but, like, spicy taste. It's not that spicy. I mean, like... (laughs) Yeah, yeah. For all you you Americans out there, it's it's not that spicy. spicy. All right, calm down, everybody. And we know it's called spicy pumpkin curry. Sour cream is too spicy for my taste. (laughs) And speaking of sour cream, excellent transition. (laughs) Our second pick was the... Okay. The dairy-free mozzarella style shreds. So this is made. This is cashew cheese, right? Right. So if if you have an allergy, probably you want to avoid this one. But <laughs> um, what's interesting is like all of like the vegan stuff that we're gonna talk about. It, it's like like this is a style. This like they can't call it mozzarella. I think that there's actually some kind of like Lost litigation yeah. that's like you can't call it mozzarella. Well, it's if from it's not. big cheese. Big cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Okay, you're joking, but Big Cheese in the U.S. Big is like... Big Cheese Corporation. Okay, th- wait, when you say Big Cheese, first of all, I think Big Biggie Cheese. Yeah, Biggie Cheese. But <laughs> that's him. He's the CEO of Big Cheese. No, but second of all, like, Big Cheese would be like the USDA. Yeah. Um, yeah, like it's dairy, like... Dairy Association? Association? United States Dairy Association. I think. American, please don't flame me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> we act like I am people big are, cheese. What's the funniest part about us talking to the comments is that nobody comments. <laughs> but anyway, um, this cheese is really, really <coughs> good. If you're somebody mozzarella who, style shreds, Shelby, you can't. I'm the big cheese surrogate. You can't say <laughs> mozzarella. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me try again. The dairy-free mozzarella style shred slash cashew cheese is really good. Good. Um, vegan cheese is sometimes kind of funky, as we all know. Yeah, We're all well aware. It is a bit funky. But As a non-vegan, I can attest. We, yeah, and as a vegan, I can attest. Trust me. But um, this, this cheese actually melts really easy. That's something mm. that a lot of vegan cheeses don't do. A lot of them don't yeah. melt. This one's really, really good. Like, I was really surprised by the performance of this cheese. It really performed well. Can you can the, you qualify performance? I can because I'm from Big Cheese Corporation. <laughs> Tristan's a big cheese around here. I'm a, I'm the big cheese around here, so I'm putting that in the thumbnail. <laughs> um, okay, great. So uh, I don't know how we can top that, but anyway, let's just keep going. So another seasonal item that we could have even done like a seasonal item list. So many of them are so good, but, but we didn't think about it. So. We didn't think about that. Too late. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. So anyway, the next item on our list is the garden vegetable soup. Mm-hmm. Now, we know what you're thinking. That sounds boring soup. as fuck. Soup. Zupa. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was I was thinking you're going to pull out all the good stuff for the Trader Joe's. Listen, okay? Y'all, this soup, okay, it comes in a glass jar. Okay, we're putting it on the screen now. We're putting all these on the screen. Well, but, were, yeah, but this one, <laughs> Tristan, when you're editing this, can we zoom and enhance, please? Oh, yeah, we can. Well, okay, we please zoom can. and enhance. Yeah, we definitely can. Um, this soup is really good. It's a pretty basic soup. I mean, honestly, you could probably make it yourself with some vegetable stock if you just, like, cook some vegetables. But honestly, that does take a lot of time. Like, if you're looking for a quick mm-hmm. meal, this is great. But don't and, just eat and, it alone. And this is, like, a, what, $3, $4 dollar can of soup? Right. Yeah, probably three dollars. It yeah. feeds. It's it feeds two, two people. people. Yeah. But but tell them how we dress up the soup a little bit because you shouldn't so, just eat the soup yeah. by itself. So we uh, put basmati rice or any kind of and, or, or any you could also use pasta if you want. Yeah. But we use basmati. Let's give it some grain. Yeah. And then we dump a whole lot of nutritional yeast on top. No, but what, what's what's our protein? What's up? Pro- oh, chickpea <laughs> from the bean episode. Go check that out. Yeah, yeah, go episode check out three. <laughs> yeah, link in link in it, the description. Link in the cards. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert: chickpeas are chickpeas are highly. are very highly ranked. Yeah. So basically, what we do is we'll make the full jar, and you do one cup of rice and half a can of chickpea, or a full can, depending on how bulky you want and how beany this you soup. Want. Or how much, how much protein you're trying to get. But <laughs> no, it's really good, and I would even recommend doing that with any kind of soup. Just mm-hmm. add in some kind of starch, so add in either rice or pasta, pasta and then yeah. make sure you got that protein source in there. Complete meal. Oh yeah, Oh, yeah. And, the, and this soup is really good. This soup yeah. is really good, it's you have to like try squash, it. It's got like squash, tomato, uh, zucchini, other vegetables carrots. that are yeah. good for you. It's good for you. It's good for you, eat it's it. It's good for you. <laughs> All right. Okay, next so, item. Next item on our list. Jesus, that is so loud. I hope that that came across. That is so loud. 
<laughs> I'm sure it, loyal followers will know that you hear this noise in every my video. God. <laughs> That's because I drink my coffee out of a mason jar with a metal straw because how much more Gen Z vegan could I get? But regardless, the next so item on our list... You need coffee to survive. Is, I do. The next item on our list is the Trader Joe's Instant Cold Brew Coffee. Now, uh, as we've talked about in the cooking episode, link in the description, link in the cards, <laughs> um, I drink a lot of instant coffee. I'm not... I, I drink coffee a lot, but I'm not like a coffee snob, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't have the cash to drop on like a nice coffee machine. I would prefer just to make instant, right? So the thing about cold brew is that the way that you're supposed to like traditionally make cold brew is that you have to let it steep overnight in the water. So you have to put like a French press in your fridge or like a bag of coffee in there, mm -hmm. let it sit overnight and then it's done. But with this instant cold brew coffee, basically what they did was they just made like the instant coffee particles so little that it can dissolve in cold water. So you can legit have so an instant done. cold brew. It's yeah. done, bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. It's done already. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, as a big coffee drinker, I like this. <laughs> and as an impatient Gen Z person, I also like it. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, I, you are definitely in those two things. Yeah, because you know, in our generation, we're all about instant gratification and we're all completely self-absorbed. So <laughs> while I'm taking okay. my Instagram selfie from one angle, at the other angle, I can be mixing my instant cold brew coffee while with my metal straw as I save the turtles. That's basically that's that's a, a portraiture of me. That is a portraiture of this. That is generation. an audio <laughs> portraiture of our generation. <laughs> okay, great. Anyway, enough with the self-aware comedy. Now we're gonna talk about something a little bit more classic. All right, yeah. you want you want to take this what, one? What can be more classic than bread? What is that stupid phrase? Uh, bread slice of life. Like a bread, uh, canned bread. Can, you not, what is the best invention oh, oh, since oh. sliced best, bread? The <laughs> best thing since sliced bread. Uh, okay. <laughs> the best invention <laughs> since bread. Yeah, I thought that was the quote. No, the no, best thing since sliced bread. Okay, uh, but yeah. anyway. Anyway, this is a sliced bread. So, it's called organic seeded bread. It's a multi-grain bread, and we use it for avocado toast. And when you toast this bread, oh my god, it's really good. And as the name would imply, there are lots of seeds. There I mean, are seeds. Do beware. There like, are seeds. Like mostly in the crust. But when I was sweeping today, I found like 20 seeds on the floor from this bread. But I mean, it's really great. And if you are someone who likes that texture, yeah. really, really good. I personally really like uh, multigrain breads. Uh, I usually eat them. So yeah, this one is really, really good. good. Mm -hmm. And it's sliced. So you have to slice it. I don't know We've if that's been a over the slice. I don't know if that's a concern for people. Uh, just get, I'm letting you guys know it's sliced. Yeah, letting you you're letting you all know ahead. It, it is a slice. It is indeed bread. sliced bread. It's not. We're not buying a miche here. No, we are not buying a, or a baguette. A miche, 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 niche. Sorry, miche. that's a niche miche. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. So, the next one is a personal favorite of mine. It's the Trader Joe's. Spice chai concentrate. Oh, yeah. So basically, I don't know if the ratio is off the top of my head, but I think it's like half a cup of spice 50%. chai. Yeah, 50 50. So it's like half spice chai and then half whatever kind of milk you use. I use almond milk with it, mm -hmm. but super great, super spicy. Ooh, if you're someone who it's gets like a, like a chai latte anywhere, this, this will probably taste better frankly, and it's a lot cheaper because you can get one bottle yeah. of it for like four bucks and it will make you four cups, so. Yeah, this spice chai, I really like chai lattes. Mm. Uh, I would, usually when I go to like, those like coffee shop brands, like coffee bean tea leaf. Uh, <laughs> That's I, how coffee bean tea leaf. I never get coffee because I don't like coffee, but I would get chai. Uh, if you don't like coffee, why would we call our podcast coffee hour with? Huh? You because, don't even like coffee. Because you like coffee. That's true. And, and I'm drinking it every hour. And you are drinking it every hour. So, mm. you know, in honor of you. You're being thoughtful. Thank I was you. being thoughtful. I, that's thoughtful. definitely what I, I planned. Everyone yeah. smash like if you think Tristan's a thoughtful guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. No, but the spice chai concentrates are really, really tasty. You can also make um, a dirty chai with it. So you could mix it with your coffee oh also. <laughs> I knew that would throw Tristan up. Yeah, dirty chai. A dirty chai. You can mix the chai concentrate with milk and coffee. Ooh. It's Dare pretty tasty. I say. Dare I say. That chai is dirty. That is a dirty chai. Oh I might God. dabble in a bit of that dirty chai barista. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving on. Now we got the, got the cream of the crop in terms of kitchen staples. You guys hear that? Hear that at home? Oh, yeah. That's the taste. The, the sound of deliciousness. Not taste. What, what's it called? 
It's called the Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. Yes. It's called Everything But The Bagel Bagel Seasoning. No, Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. So I'm sure you all have heard of this. This is one of the number one SKUs at Trader Joe's for all my from my marketing people at home. Like me. And and like me. So we're <laughs> yep. both marketing We're both marketing people. But uh, that just means that this product is one of their most bought products, mm-hmm. right? So basically what it is is I'll look at the ingredients here. It's just like sesame seeds, salt, garlic, onion, poppy seeds. It's literally the seasoning that you would put on an everything yeah. bagel. Other places you can get it. It's called everything See, bagel seasoning, but Trader Joe's is kind of quirky and it's everything but the bagel. See, I've never had an everything bagel, <laughs> yeah. but I love the seasoning. Well, you would probably like everything bagel. I probably would. You but... can go back to bagel place with <laughs> everything bagel. bagel place. But like this seasoning is really great. We, we also put this on our avocado toast. We put it on our avocado. Um, and that's really all we do with it. That, that's like the main thing that we do with it, but we use, it's so tasty. We like, like use we so use so much, much yeah. of it. Every, every probably two or three weeks, we're buying a new <laughs> bottle of it. And it's the size of like but, a salt shaker. Like know, it's not small. You, you really can't go wrong with garlic, onion, and salt, and pepper. Yeah, you really can't. You really can't. I mean, I'm sure you could put it on other things. It, it suggests on the bottle that you could like spread cream cheese on a bagel and then put this on the cream Ooh. cheese. Which, that would actually be really oh, yeah. tasty. I would do That'd that. That would be good with, like, lox, like, smoked salmon. What is lox? Yeah. Smoked salmon, I just said. Oh, oh, oh. So you're smoked smoking. salmon. <laughs> and cr- cream cheese. A little everything but seasoning. the bagel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw a smoked salmon, like, crusted with this seasoning at Trader Joe's. I'm sure that would, I'm so sure that that's true. It has happened. Mm-hmm. They have collided. These two mystical powers. Yeah. So. I'm sure they have. Well, and they will continue to in the future. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about... I want to talk about snacks. Let's snack it up. Go for it. I'm a big snacker. Tristan isn't as big into snacking. Yeah, I, but I mean... <clears throat> recently you have Recently. Been. Snacking's good. Snacking's good. Y'all. Snacking's worth. Is that your... Is it snacking's worth? Is that your official that's statement my official on statement. snacking? From Big Cheese Corporation. That's my official <laughs> Big Cheese says snacking is worth. <laughs> yeah. Great news. So the first snack that we want to talk about is called Crunchy Curls. Mm-hmm. Crunchy Curls are, as the name implies, crunchy and curly. Oh, yeah. I think it's like they're made out of like potato lent- and lentil. Lentil, yeah. So they're sold to you as a health food. They probably are... They're healthy. They're all right for you, okay? They're good. There's lentils in there. Yeah. Okay, you're getting your complex carbs. That's fine. But <laughs> they're so good by themselves. Yeah. Who, who, someone recommended it to you. Right? Eliza gave these to me. I feel like I shout out Eliza in every episode. Yeah, shout out to Eliza. But she, yeah, shouts out to Eliza for feeding me Crunchy Curls for the first mm-hmm. time. What we discovered is that for all you Crunchy Curl fans out there, you dip those things in hummus. Ooh. Wow. Wow. So good. Flavor bomb. We will literally eat an entire like tub of hummus in one sitting with crunchy <laughs> curls. You're laughing, but it's happened. Yeah, it has happened. To be fair. And, and, and a cooking tip for everyone. You sprinkle a little bit of uh, paprika on your hummus, mm. a little bit of olive oil, stick your crunchy curls in there. Ooh. Ooh. You got, yeah. You, got you, can even, going. you can even get store-bought hummus and just season it and put a little bit of olive oil on top. It's going to look fancy. Oh, yeah. Like it will actually look, look like it's from the restaurant. Yeah. it's not. It probably won't taste like it, TBH, but, but it, it will look. Look like it. it and that's the most imp- important part about yeah food. yeah because in our generation we all know that you need to look the part and that's all that matters that is sad but true okay anyway <laughs> uh what's moving the next on. one Tristan? we're moving on to spud crunchies spud crunchies this i feel like is like a hidden a hidden gem mm. in the snack aisle of trader joe's Explain i found why. this and i was like oh my god this is amazing so this there's a japanese snack that i always buy um, jagabi. Called, yeah, it's called Jagabi. There's also one called Potato Farm. They're basically like French fry looking potato chips. Yeah. They literally look yeah. like fries. Yeah, take they, them look out like, the they literally look like, like straight cut fries. But, but they're, they're crunchy like, crunchy, like, like potato, potato chips. chips. They're so good. And they are delicious. Like, you'll never want to eat potato chips ever again. Lay's? Who's heard of them? Bye. Ruffles? Cancelled. Ruffled. <laughs> They've been ruffled. They've been ruffled. Their feathers have been ruffled yeah. by the Spud Crunchies. Yeah. So the Trader Joe's has an equivalent of this Japanese snack called Spud Crunchies and that we try. It's super cheap. Like it's the cost it, like yeah, two bucks. Yeah, it's super cheap. <laughs> it's not from Japan, so you're not the import it or whatever. Yeah. And it's honestly tastes almost the same. It's pretty good. It's so delicious. Yeah, but the the you know what's dangerous about these is that it's not one of those 
like when you open it, the ba- like the oh, shape of the bag, right. you'll see it on the screen. But it's really hard to like reseal it. Yeah. So it's better if you can, if you open it, just to eat the whole thing. Because we tried to reseal it before, and mm. they really don't keep their freshness once mm. you open the bag. So pro tip: if you go in all the smug countries, go in. You are you are invest. In. You are there. Okay. Can't you leave. are in there. Yeah. Yep. You got to get in there. There you go. Um, so the next one I think is like something that a lot of people like at Trader Joe's, but we thought it was definitely worth a mention. So it has a long name, but we're going to put it on the screen. It's restaurant style white corn tortilla chips mm. is the full, is its full Christian name. <laughs> it's baptismal name. Christian. Yeah. <laughs> so these chips are great. It's tasty. So great. I mean, I think they're like seasoned with like lime. Yeah. They have some kind salt. of lime seasoning yeah. on them. It's so really like good. Acidic. They're salty. But what do we pair them with? Great, great with guac. Great with guac, but great with uh, salsa. And one of the salsas we love to buy at Trader Joe's is salsa verde. Yeah. We're flashing on the screen right now. This it's a. We've green. been flashing everything on the screen, but I like how only now we're like flashing on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well we can put them both on the screen actually. Together. Yeah, together. As friends. Yeah. yeah, because you know, put them together. They're a couple. Nice. We don't want them to be Call long them. distance. A shout out our first podcast. Oh Go listen to it if you oh haven't. But yeah, it's what's really good about the salsa verde with these tortilla chips is like the salsa verde is kind of it's a bit sour, mm-hmm. and these tortilla chips have like the lime flavoring on them. So like so they match really well. Yeah, yeah, they, they have a really nice. Well. They have a really nice um, synergy going yeah. on. <laughs> synergy. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. salsa verde is great. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's like I got a way more complex taste than like just normal salsa you think yeah. so i think so i mean tristan has i'm very definitely com- qualified to say that as, yeah. a, as a food concept. yeah tristan has a very complex palate i do my tongue he is... uses the word umami a lot i do use the word umami it's a very <laughs> important word in the food world you would know if you were a, a food man or a, f- a food you mean the chef yeah a chef. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's keep going let's keep it going all right frozen <clears throat> foods okay What's frozen up? foods so trader Joe's has trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has a lot of great frozen foods. Mm-hmm. Like what? Name well, one thing. So, like, we, I, we buy a lot of Trader Joe frozen foods, but that's why we had to limit this list to the absolute best. So, mm-hmm. Or at least the ones that we eat the most. Yeah. yeah. So the one that I get the most is this gyoza. It's a frozen gyoza, but it's not the normal pork-flavored one. It's called Thai shrimp gyoza. This gyoza will change your life. It is so good. Mm-hmm. It's got like this like th- I don't know I don't know it's why it's called Thai. Uh, maybe there's maybe, some kind of like veg in like there that, that Thai I don't know, people but, put in there, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, they're shrimping it and it's tasty it, and according it's, to Tristan. I've yeah, never heard and it. like <clears throat> you like pan fry them and then you steam them and you get the bombs all crispy. Wow. Yeah. Eat, eat it with sriracha, because sriracha is a superior sauce. Mm-hmm. You now they know. they also do have a vegetarian equivalent. Well, we to should this. shout out that, and yeah. we can. Sh- I'll shout it out. It didn't make my list because like it's good, mm-hmm. but it's not. You know, if I don't buy it one week, I'm all right. Yeah. You know, that's how I feel about the vegetarian one. Still really good though. I really. Yeah, like still him really, as well. really, really I really, I really like them as well. Yeah, eat it with sriracha. Non-vegan. So basically, if you've never made it, basically what you want to do when you cook it is you want to get out a skillet, and then you're gonna. Well, it doesn't have to be. This is just what we do, but. You want to get out a skillet with a lid, and then you pan fry them until the bottoms are like golden brown, and then you're gonna pour a little bit of water in. Now it's gonna there's grease in there, so be ready with the lid. You throw the lid on there, and then that way it's crispy on the bottom, but like soft on the top. You get a steaming, really nice. you get a steaming effect. Yeah, That's get a steaming idea. effect. Just proceed with caution if you do that. Yeah. Maybe or, wear long or sleeves. Or you can just steam them. Or you can just steam them. Or you them. can deep fry them like a madman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... If you're insane! I mean, I don't know. Like, deep fried gyoza is tasty and all, but, I mean... I, you gotta I you gotta have the, 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 the mental strength yeah. to deep fry. Yeah. Which you, we don't if you're, have. If you're deep frying things, great. Yeah, if you already if you already got the fryer out... If you got out, the fryer out, then yeah. fry it up, baby. Fry, fry, <laughs> fry it up. Yep. That's our official statement on that. Yeah. I, I decline <laughs> to comment furthermore on the gyoza. Okay, great. So... <laughs> uh, one of my uh, top things that we get from Trader Joe's, and I've been buying this since I like figured out what Trader Joe's was, even before I was mm-hmm. vegan, is the their mini vegetable samosas. First of all, so cute. Oh yeah. Love the shape. These little little triangles. Little triangles, so cute. I love normal samosas, like actual mm-hmm. like real the big samosas. Ones. Yeah. And these definitely, I will say, they're not a replacement for that. Mm-hmm. Like they will not replace that true samosa. Yeah. But 
they're gonna kind of give you that vibe Mm -hmm. Um, and they're really easy to cook at home. We cook them in the oven. I've heard from a Trader Joe's employee that they're amazing in the air fryer. Yeah. Because then they'll get super crispy crispy, and like tasty. And then that might be a little bit more accurate. I mean, you you can get them crispy as well in the oven. It just takes a while. Like it'll probably take you like 20 minutes. It does take longer. Like Trader Joe's has some really great uh, Indian food, like different kinds of Indian food, all that stuff. Like they got yeah. I mean, we'll we'll definitely and... say that it's like tasty, but mm-hmm. we I would hardly call it like no. It's definitely real not. Indian. It's definitely not authentic. Indian inspired. We can say yeah. It's definitely not authentic, but I mean, it's pretty good. Like like ready made stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, when you need like a quick meal or something, like these samosas oh, are sure. ready in like twenty minutes. Yeah, so tasty. Yeah. So the last thing on our list, and I want to add like a couple qualifiers to this that we're talking about, and I think it actually does open up a pretty good conversation about like, you know, like marketing and Trader Joe's in general, (laughs) is the cauliflower tempura. Now we're going to put it on the screen. Um, (laughs) You vigilant watchers at home will notice that it doesn't actually say Trader Joe's on the package. It says something else, which, you know, I think... I think it's offensive, (laughs) you know, that they're not just using Trader Joe's. Basically, Trader Joe's had this period where they thought it would be, like, funny funny to, (laughs) instead of putting Trader Joe's, like, they would change, like, Joe to, because Joe is, like, kind of like a, like, maybe more of a stereotypical, generic American name. So they said, Mm. oh, well, let's put in, like, stereotypical, generic you know, names from other languages into this. Mm -hmm. But really, it was just in poor taste. I mean, they're they're phasing out this packaging, of course, but I think it's also just, like, important to note that, like, this is still a thing. Yeah. Right? So I I would feel uncomfortable talking about the tasty cauliflower tempura if I didn't also mention that, like, some of their packaging is this way. And even though they're trying to phase it out, it's, you know, it's just some, if that affects your buying decisions, then yeah. this is the information for you, yeah. right? And I'm not trying to make this like a huge like political statement or whatever, but I just think within like 2020, I just think it's important to like come know on stuff guys, like this. it's 2020. It's 2020. Come on guys. All right, wake you up. You can't just put stupid you can't just Chinese put... name on <laughs> buying trader and and get a laugh. Yeah. Not, not like it's just not it's not quirky, it's not funny. Not like some white woman who's like forty and is gonna look at the at the at the packing and be like, Oh, that's that's a laugh. <laughs> how how funny. So, I mean Yeah, what, what but this cauliflower about? champura uh, It's actually nice. it's um, really good. Yeah, because they do have like a like a chicken like version of this, I mm-hmm. think. Um I don't know if it's like the same sauce or whatever, but I think... Didn't they use a Kung Pao sauce, which is weird <laughs> <laughs> to say? I, I mean, it's like... Well, here's what we'll say about it. It's tasty. Yeah. And... Well, let me clarify. Tempura is a Japanese <laughs> style of cooking. Yeah. Kung Pao is a... What is it? <laughs> it's something. It's something that's supposed to be Chinese. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I... I do not care for Americanized Chinese food. So but, I, mean, I don't even know if Kung Pao chicken is Americanized, but whatever. Well, it's like with the other food of Trader Joe's. You can't call it authentic yeah. to the culture that it's coming from. But mm-hmm. in terms of flavor, is this nice? Is it tasty? Yes. Does it whip it up? Do, can we whip it up in like, I don't know, 20 minutes? 20 minutes? Yes. Yes. The answer to both of those is yes. It is yes. So that's but why we buy it. That's why we buy it. And that's why and it's tasty. That's why it's, real, it's really tasty. Pro tip, you don't need the whole sauce packet. Only put half. Or like put it on the side. Yeah, or put it on the side and yeah. you can like dip it in, or else it's or like, just like yeah. way too much. Yeah. Too, it's good, too yeah, much sauce. I'll get a little lost in the sauce if you too do much full kung, sauce. Too much kung pao. <sighs> too much it'll, kung pao in it'll, the sauce. It'll hit you too hard. Kung yeah. Pow. Okay. Anyway, that Moving felt on. that felt like weirdly political. Let's <laughs> move on to like. <laughs> I am Asian. So. In case you didn't know. Feels feels right to at least mention that. <laughs> yeah, because it is. Fucked yeah. that, that that's like still on the packaging, <laughs> right? Like, even though they're trying to phase it out, I get like, oh, we don't want to waste all of this plastic mm. that we've already produced, yeah, but it's still uncomfortable, I can't right? Why to buy the Chinese tempura? <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about dessert, yeah, let's talk about dessert. Okay. The Trader, Trader Joe's has amazing vegan desserts. If you're if you're someone who's considering going vegan, you're mm-hmm. not sure about it, or if you're dairy free or if you're just looking to have more plant based foods in your yeah. life. Or and if you're, you're like, like me and dairy just makes you feel bad. <laughs> yeah, if you're, or if you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Trader Joe's has some super, super, super amazing desserts that are vegan and dairy free. 
that are just really great. So, because mm. I know that for me, that was really hard when I first went vegan. Is like, oh my gosh, I can't have ice I cream. I can't eat ice cream. I can't have chocolate. I can't, you know, like yeah. like finding like cakes and other desserts was really hard. Yeah, yeah. So Trader Joe's, they got you. Oh, they got you. Good. Yeah. So we buy this every week. Trader Joe's <laughs> has this ice cream called Soy Creamy. Yeah. So so the the the, the type of ice cream is soy creamy. Cause yeah. Because they, they make bit. a lot of ice cream. Well, like the. The, the, brand, the brand, quote unquote, is yeah. soy creamy, but they have a few the different f- flavors. But the flavor we always buy is cherry chocolate chip. It's a mm. cherry flavored ice cream with like chocolate chip, like nuggets. Nug- yeah, like chocolate nug- chunks nuggies. in there. Yeah, chocolate nuggies. And um, what, what's it called? Like cherry pieces? Yeah, there? yeah. Like pieces of cherry and chocolate inside. This ice cream <clears throat> is so good. I never thought cherry ice cream would be good. I don't know. But we buy it every week. But yeah, but we but it's 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 grown on me. Yeah, like, yeah, and the tub is nice. We yeah. probably we just eat like a little bit after dinner or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's really really. Like you nice. never ask a kid what's your favorite flavor of ice cream and they say cherry oh, cherry Garcia. No, that's never happened before. Oh gosh, but Ben and Jerry's is but. so good though. <laughs> Is that what's from Cherry Garcia? Mm-hmm. Okay. Shouts out Ben and Jerry's. I love Ben and Jerry's. But like, you know, like my favorite flavor was like chocolate back then. Mm-hmm. But like this flavor is it'll knock your socks off. Knock your socks off. If don't wear socks when you eat No, this. don't. It, they'll be knocked out. They'll, they'll fly away. <laughs> you don't wear your fa- or or I should say, don't wear your favorite pair of socks because they will fly away. Yeah, you can wear your shitty socks. Yeah. Okay. So the next one on the list, we actually discovered this. Like this week. Two days ago. <laughs> Two years ago. But it's already made the favorites. Mm-hmm. So what is it? It's called the Thai tea mochi ice cream. Okay, so explain now, what Thai tea is. So Thai tea, so uh, I guess you could call it Thai milk tea. Yeah. Is a, is a type of drink from Thailand. I mean, it's very synonymous with like other milk teas in the Southeast Asian region. Like uh, in Singapore and Malaysia, they also like you have can get it with tea. boba. And... Yeah, it, you know, it's like your, it's like your bubble tea like milk. It, tea. I mean, it's basically like. A black tea with, with some con- kind with of like, milk in yeah, it. Yeah, like condensed milk. It's or really whatever. tasty, really so, good. Thai tea tastes like that, uh, and this uh, mochi ice cream is like fla- the ice cream is flavored like this Thai tea flavor, and it's wrapped in like this mochi, which is mochi is uh, like, like chewy glutinous dessert. rice. Chew- yeah, it's like a chewy. So it's essentially a ball of ice cream with like yeah. a chewy outside. Yeah. And the, the the reason that this is vegan is because the Thai tea ice cream on the inside is made with coconut milk. Mm-hmm. So it's really rich. If you like coconut, you will like this. Oh, yeah. It's so tasty. It's got the, like, coconut, like, things, like, coconut ice cream we've had before. <laughs> yeah, Trader Joe's does and... make, like, a chocolate coconut ice cream. Mm-hmm. It's super it, rich. It's really it is good. In, like, coconut ice cream is always just incredibly creamy and rich and really, really tasty. Mm-hmm. So this mochi ice cream, it's so small. It just fits in your hand, like... It's, I don't know how to visualize it. It's like, it's definitely, it's easily no, not, bite-sized. Not a penny. You can say, you can, in the U.S. we call it bite-sized. Oh, bite-sized. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's like, it's bite-sized. It's like tater tot size. It is not tater tot size. It's a little it's bit bigger. A little bit bigger than a tater tot. A little bigger than a tot. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got tots on the brain, everybody. <laughs> Who doesn't, you know? <laughs> they, they take over. They take over. <laughs> we recently watched Napoleon Dynamite, and I'm just thinking of like that scene where Napoleon has all those tots in his pocket. I've, that's happened to me before. You know, yeah, you you, got you're wearing like you're wearing like zip the, up cargo pants. Tots and you in the pocket, the, and you know, you tots s- in the pocket. Someone's you know? just like, oh, give me your tots, and you're like, no. And that, that's actually how we met. That is, how, yeah, you yeah, kicked my pocket. Yeah, you had a bunch tots. of tots, and I wanted some. Yeah, bully. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That's not. That is not how we met. Smash the like button if you yeah. want to hear a story time of how uh, we met. Uh, shameless plug, you can you can see how we met in uh, Tristan Ao's uh, China Trip Vlogs on my channel. Link will be in the description. That's right. Okay, so the next thing on our list is two types of chocolate. So mm-hmm. me and Tristan, we love chocolate. We love chocolate. Like, chocolate is just really important well, when, to us. It, it's Halloween time soon. It's yeah. Halloween uh, this, this week. It's Halloween. <laughs> great, great. It's no, it's a song from. Never mind. Okay, no, I, I know it's a song. I I've played it on the Just Dance two or something. <laughs> That's how I know it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. So we have two different kinds of chocolate mm-hmm. because chocolate is just one of my favorite things. Yeah, it is so tasty. So well, one of my favorite chocolates is uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. But those things. But those got things. Dairy in them. They got dairy in them. But so, we recently found at Trader Joe's. It's called dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. So instead of peanut butter, it's sunflower seed butter. But I'll tell you, the taste, wow. 
Yeah, you wouldn't Can, you wouldn't even really know because they have two sizes. The one on the screen is like the big, big, big size, mm -hmm. but they also have like a Reese's peanut butter cup right. size like, one. Like everyone likes the Reese's the mini cups better than the big cups, right? Yeah, I the think Reese's. I mean I think so because in the like, smaller ones you get more chocolate to butter ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but if yeah. you really love sunflower butter, you can get the big one. Yeah, yeah but yeah. It, like they're both amazing. Like don't get us wrong, but. Yeah, super tasty. So if you are vegan or dairy free and you're like, I really want get some Reese's these. right now, like, get these. The dark chocolate is delicious. Yeah. The sunflower butter is like a surprise, but like, and it does kind of satisfy that like peanut butter fix. It does. And like peanut butter like is like you can, vegans can have peanut butter, but they just mm. made this with sunflower butter instead. And it's, like, and it's really amazing. Good. Yeah, yeah, super good. So I was surprised. That's a great substitute for that. And then last, but certainly not least. <laughs> this is probably my favorite thing that we buy mm -hmm. from we Trader Joe's. We buy it Joe's. every week. We buy it all the time. Yeah. It's a new release, and yeah. it's called the Organic Almond Beverage Chocolate Bar, which is like kind of a mouthful, throwback <laughs> to the dairy-free mozzarella-style shreds cashew cheese. But <laughs> there's just so many qualifiers in all of the Trader Joe's <laughs> that are like dairy-free but this is amazing. It yeah. literally, it, it doesn't, I can't say that it tastes exactly like a Hershey bar, but, it, but it's, it's, it's like the same idea. Yeah, it's you like a bar of chocolate, squares. there are squares. Yeah. And this chocolate is like the most, it'll like melt in your mouth like amazing. Like it, it's yeah. so, the flavor is like really good. You would it's have, not too sweet. Yeah. Like it's a great like a palate cleanser. You would have no idea so. that it's vegan. Like yeah. you would not know. Like I, I remember going to like, uh, like those like French like cafes and they give you like chocolate with your meal. I mean like Olive Garden? Yeah, like Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> and, they, and after they give you their breadstick, then you want to cleanse your palate from the really tasty, you know, complex flavored breadstick. Wait, stick. wait, so they would give you a breadstick first and then you would eat chocolate and then you Never mind. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just I have a lot of questions about the story. That you're about. <laughs> well, I don't know why you brought up Olive Garden. <laughs> but like, you know. No, because like at Olive Garden, they give you chocolates after your meal. Really? Yeah. That's going to be a little bit more legible to an American audience than like, a French cafe. I was talking about like Mercy Marcel, where they would give you like the little chocolate with your, oh my gosh, yes. your tea or whatever, and then you take it uh, after your meal, and yeah. then it like cleanses your palate. This mm -hmm. is the kind of chocolate that It's that kind of chocolate. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's just really good. It's not too sweet. You can like eat like, we, we don't normally share like a couple squares. We'll share like four squares or something mm -hmm. after dinner mm -hmm. if we're not having ice cream. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, it's just something to spice up the life, okay? Like, <clears throat> Spice up the life. Spice up the life. The spice of life. I feel like in 2020, you just need those small rewards to get you through the day. You I do. look forward to after dinner getting to eat a square of the organic almond beverage chocolate bar. I do. I you, do. Call me you, crazy. You... You gotta look for the small things. So the small things. Well, also this, um, the package is resealable too. Yeah. So you don't have to eat the whole thing at one time. Like it, it can seal itself back up. So. And it lasts for a while. Yeah. Like unless you eat like a whole like. Bar I mean, but there. we keep ours in the refrigerator. Just, so, I mean, I don't. I you probably don't need to do that, but it's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. It that is way. chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. You could also freeze it, I guess, if you weren't planning on eating it straight away. But mm. yeah. So that's some that's some Halloween candy inspo for all you vegan you slash dairy free people there out there. You go. Check out Trader Joe's. They have a lot of really great accessible stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've always been really happy with Trader Joe's. We always go shopping there like yeah. every week. Yeah, but. super great quality. I like that it's not so big. And like in the past Trader Joe's, I've had like like the people there recognize you. Like it, it feels, I mean, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. It's a massive capitalistic corporation like do not get us wrong but i like being tricked into thinking that it's not right you know every that, trader joe's the, feels like a like a like a grassroots is that the word? that's the joy of trader like a, joe's wow <laughs> it has the prices of the capitalistic giant that it is but it doesn't make you feel that it way it has like the ambiance of like a of like a local grocery. little cute little yeah. quirky shop yeah you know they got mm. us. They got us. They, they, they got fucking, our money. They fucking got us. They get us, they get us every week. <laughs> God um, damn it. <laughs> for those of you uh, who are like me, 21 and up, Trader Joe's has an amazing wine selection. I love buying the rosé. It's super affordable, and the quality is actually quite good. Maybe don't buy, like, the $2 one if you get headaches easy, because that, that will be headache city. <laughs> Believe me. Okay? The sulfides in that, through the roof. Okay? <laughs> but... You know, if you can splurge on like like the six to ten dollar range, you're set. There you go. You're set. There you go. I would know nothing about alcohol. Yep, he's not twenty. No. Nope. Even though in his home country he can drink, here he cannot. I definitely have not drank so, at all. Yep. Great. 
Okay. Good to good good to. That's get, a get super that great note to end on. Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> well, this was uh, just us talking about our favorite Trader Joe's foods. Mm-hmm. I hope you all enjoyed. Victor, let us know if you enjoyed this. Put your favorite Trader Joe food in the comment, in down, the comment below. down below. Let us know. Even let if it's not know. dairy free, we want to hear about it. Yeah, I'll eat it. Tristan can eat it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe somebody else who's watching can eat it. Yeah. But let's make it a. a a space where we can share, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a safe space where we can share our ideas and be non-confrontational, yeah. okay? I, I just feel like I've created a toxic work culture in our comment <laughs> section, and I, I just want to get out in front of that. You created a toxic so, comic section. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm a toxic gamer, as we've seen in the last episode. You, you are a toxic gamer. <laughs> you know what? GG, all right? GG. 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 That means good game. <laughs> GG Trader Joe's. GG Trader Joe's. You got GG, us. GG. You got our money. <laughs> and you will probably continue to get our money. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Fair assessment. Okay. okay, well, thanks for checking out this podcast. Tune in for the next one where we talk about whatever well, we want. We, have, we haven't decided yet. Uh, we, if, we normally decide day of, so. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Send us a DM. Let us know what you want to hear about. Yeah. And if you like the content we've been making, uh, like how we've been mixing it up a little bit, tell us. We want to know. If you hate it, say nothing. Yeah. Don't say anything. We will be very upset. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See okay. you all later. <laughs> See you guys.